I'm Heather Fisher, I play for England and I play hooker. I grew up in Birmingham, um, parents were together until about the age of 13 and then had a big divorce where I didn't really have any contact with my dad for about five years. Um, and I guess that was when anorexia started. I was put in hospital, uh, fed off a drip uh, for about a year of my life. And I remember one day sitting with the nutritionist, he said, Heather, he said, what do you want to be when you're older? I said, an athlete. And he said to me, he said, you'll never be an athlete unless you, unless you eat. And from there onwards, I just started eating. Anorexia was a massive part of my life. And I don't think it ever really leaves you when you have an eating disorder. Um, and sports, sports saved me. Sport kept me, on the, I would say, on the straight and narrow. I uh, went down to my local rugby club the age of about 16, 17, when I just started to come through the stage of anorexia. And through that, I met people like, who like-minded, you know, I had teammates, I had friends, um, and I just, I just grew to love it, but I could never, ever tackle. I was awful. Good tackle from Heather Fisher. Oh, that is a huge shot. Driving through the tackles. What a quality tackle that was. So I crossed over to Great Britain bobsleigh for about two, three years. Um, and that was brilliant, that was really cool. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, I loved it, but again, I really missed the team atmosphere. So I came back, um, and then I had a chance at going to 2009 uh, World Cup with Sevens, with Simon Amor in charge, um, and that was really cool. And then from there, the power of, I guess, my bobsleigh days where I had to push, you know, 250k sled out of the block as hard as I could, combined with my rugby, I then just became the player I am now, today. Fisher stretches the legs. What a try that was. Heather Fisher for the line. The strength of Heather Fisher. She is on fire. Fisher for the corner. Fisher to win it for England. Oh, yes! So I came back from Bob's. I went into sevens. And I got taken out in, uh, in mid-air in a competition. Um, and I had four, four fractures in my lower back. Um, and I was in a cast, plaster cast from my neck down to my waist uh, for about a year, year and a half long time I almost felt like I lost my identity as well as that happening my hair started to fall out I think just through just through stress I was so low on myself you know that I hit a place where I didn't think I was going to come back but alopecia for me was is and is still something I struggle with every day of my life it started off in 2010 I don't really know why, to be honest with you. I have a vivid memory of me put my hands through my hair. And I remember just having hair in my hands. I was literally had strands of hair. And every, every week we went back into camp with England, my teammates would be like, Fisher, like, your hair, mate. Like, you probably need to like, shave it off. And I, when I heard those words, I was just, oh, I just blew into tears. But then I was so ashamed of the fact I, I shaved it off. Well, I wore a bandana for about two, three months to be around people and wore hats. I, I wouldn't go out in public without a hat on for about a year, two years. Um, I just felt really embarrassed. I felt, I just feel horrible. It's not my choice and to a certain extent you can laugh about it, but there are moments in my life I won't go out. I just won't go out. I hate it. absolutely hate it. And, I'm accepted for who I am in rugby. It's, 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 it's about the team, it's about us playing, it's about us training, so this doesn't matter. My teammates are a massive support, you know. I'm just accepted for being who I am, but I'm allowed to be myself and that, that's, that's what I need to be able to be. For me, uh, body image is a real big one because obviously I'm, I'm judged every day of my life, you know, from having muscles to having no hair, is it a boy or is it a girl, you know, like all the time, every, like every day of my life. And I'm very aware of that, um, and that, that part I do still struggle with. Um, yeah. I think I'm still here playing rugby just because I love what I do, you know? I love being part of the team. I love playing for my country. For me, it's the challenge of getting through and the challenge of being my best every time I put my shirt back on. Um, that's, what, that's why I'm here. That, literally, that is it, you know? There's nothing else to it.